Science has had to make thousands of calculations to create the atomic bomb and determine its effects. Computers and atomic bombs, both products of World War II. Ah, oh, damn it. Snake, do you remember the sinking of that tanker two years ago? Oh, boy. Of course. <laughs> Terrorists blow a hole in an oil tanker full of crude barely 20 miles off the shore of Manhattan. Your classic nightmare. It didn't take long for the government to put an oil fence around the whole mess. And then that massive offshore cleanup facility went up inside. The big shell. I hear the cleanup isn't quite over yet. Yeah. It takes time. But in the meantime, the shell's become a landmark. A symbol of environmental protection. Bravo. Deploy at the big shell as scheduled. Approximately six hours ago, the big shell was seized by an armed group. Do we have an ID? Former members of the Navy SEAL Special Anti-Terrorist Training Squad Dead Cell. Russian private army members may also be involved. It's a highly trained group, and they have the big shell under complete control. Thanks. The new blood has been rejected. Oh, who's this? <laughs> oh God! <laughs> I don't want to do this. Thirty billion dollars. What makes them think they can get that much? There was a government-sponsored tour going on at the Big Shell that day. Hostages, huh? A VIP from one of the major conservation groups, and one from our own government. The most important person in a sense. The most important person? James Johnson. <gasps> the president? Who's Unless this? Unless the demands are met, the terrorists intend to blow the Big Shell out of the water. And the crude will ignite, turning the Manhattan Harbor into an inferno. That's not the worst case scenario. If the chlorides being used to decontaminate the seawater go up with the oil, toxins containing catastrophic levels of dioxins will be released. In other words, the bay's ecosystem will be wiped out, and the sea will turn into a toxic soup for centuries, becoming the worst environmental disaster in history. Whoa. You have two mission objectives. One, infiltrate the offshore decontamination facility Big Shell and safeguard the president and other hostages. And two, disarm the terrorists by any means necessary. There's no way that president's gonna be alive at the end of this mission. As soon as I meet up with him, he's gonna be like, Oh, I'm having a heart attack! Joint effort? No. Foxhound remains a covert body. Don't alert them to your presence. That is an order. Uh, this is Snake. I'm now inside. That's not Snake! Show one. How are things? We're in line. How dare you we're stand where he stood? <laughs> What's the visibility? Oh man. The lights on the plant struts are functioning. I won't have to use the IR goggles. Any problems? There was a brand new hole cut through the oil fence. There's someone else besides me that wanted to get in badly. That's not possible. <laughs> what about SEAL Team 10? They landed on the roof of the big shell as planned. And by the way, Snake, we're changing your code name for all following communication. What's wrong with Snake? Just a precaution. You are now designated Raiden. All right, Raiden. You've already covered infiltration in VR training. I've completed 300 missions in VR. I feel like some kind of legendary mercenary. Okay, we'll skip that part. Make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to reach you, contact you. The codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codec's receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. All right. I'm getting deja vu, I'll contact you, guys. you if anything changes. First, make your way to the uh. upper section of the big shell. How do I get up to the next level? 
There's an elevator at the far end of that area. Use that. Sounds good. Your new sneaking suit uses electrofiber technology, a byproduct of fiber optics research. The suit itself has a wide array of built-in sensors. It is referred to as smart skin in military R&D. Data about damage to different regions of the body, including blood loss, is exchanged between the suit and the intravenous nanomachines to create a feedback system. There's a lot of pressure on my torso. Relax. The suit applies varying pressure to major internal organs to maximize performance and safeguard their functions. They call this the skull suit in Foxhound. Skull suit seems appropriate somehow. The hatch with a circular handle will open into the elevator area. Locate the hatch first. Copy that. Moving on to main mission objectives. All right. Here I am. We're getting very close to uh, the furthest I've ever gotten in this uh, game. Oh, man. It still bothers me that I can't move the control. I mean, not the control. The uh, camera. It's really annoying, but uh, whatever. We're just going to go along with it. I don't have anything in my inventory, so you already know how it goes. Weapons and equipment OSP. It's pretty cool. Sometimes. Sometimes it's kind of annoying. You know what the frick? I smashed my finger twice today, ladies and gentlemen. And I was bleeding all over the damn place. My thumb, you know? Like the nail. I smashed my nail really hard. And, um, yeah, it's really annoying. But, uh, it's not too bad. <laughs> I almost... I wanted to say something, but I was like, nah, I'll leave it at that. Don't want people telling me, hey, look at this guy, smashed his finger. What a weakling. I had to hold back tears. That was in a drive through Anyway, ah, it's a new recording session, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully everybody's doing good. Man, you guys, I got to play this game, you know. But lately, I've been wanting to play um, Shadow of the Colossus and or... Uh, Dead Space and Death Stranding. Both games, you guys. All three of those games I've been wanting to play. But here I am playing um, Metal Gear Solid 2. In the edge. Uh, what the. What? What was that? The trailer for uh, Death Stranding um, 2 came out. The nine minute, nine, nine minute long one. I've sighted an enemy sentry. AN-94 and a Makarov. Those grenades, all his equipment, is Russian-made. Must be a Gerlukovich man. Gerlukovich? A Russian private army that was in line to work with the Shadow Moses Takeover Group four years ago. What's their stake in this one? They must have made a deal, an arrangement with the terrorists. they become a band of mercenaries, an army without a country. There's always a band of mercenaries, you guys. <laughs> but here we go. Oh, man, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, I have other games that I want to play. But here I am playing Metal Gear Solid 2. It's pretty cool. Very, we're very close to you guys to the furthest I've ever gotten into in this game. I'll let you know. I'll let you know. What the f What was that? That snake! Hey, my boy! Oh man, look at that tight suit, as usual. Still wearing the same clothes he was wearing uh, two Colonel, years ago. There's definitely another intruder in here besides me. That's not a possibility. Not a team. Looks like a solo job. One man. We may not know who he is, but he managed to take care of every sentry in the area. They're all out cold. Whoever he is, he's got some skills. He's got the we skills to, to pay the ID, bills, as but usual. For now, you can take advantage of the situation and get to work. There's a terminal in front of the elevator. A node. Did you say nerd? Not nerd. Oh, node. Man. Look at uh, this guy. Use the node to gain Raiden. access to the Big Shell's facilities network. Raiden. Then what? Pull up the map of the structure. That'll let you activate the Soliton radar. Oh. The Soliton radar? True. That radar came in useful during VR training. A radar system uses biological magnetic fields as input. These estimated enemy positions are projected onto a map according to reference points collected via GPS signals and field personnel reports. We need to get to the map through the Big Shell's node to put this data processing to practical use. 
The node unit is about three feet high, should be colored blue. Each area has at least one. How do I gain access? Just push the action button in front of the node. The nano machines in your body will take care of the security clearance and allow you access to the node. Complete the procedure before those sentries gain consciousness. If they spot you, you won't be able to gain access for a while. Oh, Stay no. on guard. Got it. <sighs> All right, you guys. Here we go. Now I'm starting to get into some unfamiliar territory. All right, we got no noisy floor. Got a couple of suckers. I'm getting called already. I'm not going to answer. All right, fine, I'll answer. Raiden, you won't be able to use any of the enemy's equipment. Why not? You should know that oh. all active weapons are equipped with a personal identification system. Oh, no, already? The owner enters their required user ID information was, uh, during the weapon registration thing. or at the start of a mission. If anyone other than the registered user tries to fire the weapon, the ID system will not authorize the action. Oh, but no. these are black market Russian weapons. How can they be equipped with identification functionality? They must have been customized by the terrorists themselves. These are professionals we're dealing with, and they certainly won't let their own equipment be used against them. I'm guessing it's the same for the Navy SEALs gear? Right. How am I supposed to procure weapons then? Find the ones that haven't yet been individualized. Everything you find in the item box is clean. You should know this from your VR training. Okay, I know those. Items in the item box are yours to use at will. They will be your supply source with regards to weaponry and gear. What's an item box? Alright, here we go. What are we doing here, you guys? Look at this guy. Man, he kind of looks cool with that mask on. Whoa. I just got electrocuted. That sucked. <laughs> We good? Are we good? Code name A. What? Oh, what's the point of this? Birthday. Don't matter much to me. Don't want, don't care about any of this. Back to title screen. Can we do this? What? What is this, you guys? <laughs> Hidalgo Jima! Why you do me like this? Why am I going through this part again, you guys? Oh, what the fudge. To previous screen. What the hell? Good I can just continue right. the game. The radar should be functioning now. Remember your VR training sessions. The tool is exactly the same one. It maps the terrain as well as the position of enemy personnel. The bright dot in the middle is you, Raiden. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. It gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. It's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. The Big Shell's layout map should now be available after touching the start button. How do I save the mission data? I've set aside a proprietary frequency for saves, and an analyst to work on the data too. Jack, is everything alright? What are you doing here? Rose. Jack, can you hear me? Rose, you're not supposed to be involved. What's going on? Jack, I'm a part of this mission. Colonel, what the hell is going on? Raiden, meet the mission analyst. She'll be overseeing the data saving and support. Why her? The Foxhound analyst that was supposed to take part in this mission was in an accident. Rosemary what? was brought in as a replacement. An accident? And according to the files, she knows you better than anybody else. Rose may be in the service, but an intelligence analyst is no field officer. Not to worry. She has our technical staff at her disposal. She's never been a part of a field mission. This is insane. I have my own reasons this for man selecting is her for this mission, soldier. Colonel, I fail to see... I know your VR training performance in and out, but sometimes that's not enough. You're familiar with the Shadow Moses incident? Oh, yeah. You know I covered it in VR. If there's a crucial tactical detail that case taught us, it was the power of the operative's will to survive. I was trained to fight. 
My personal feelings have no place in a mission. We've learned that it doesn't work that way. And on the field, you need all the help you can get. Jack, you're stuck with me whether you like it or not. Rose. You need someone to watch your back. But I have conditions that need to be met, Colonel. What is it? I'll perform my duties and save that mission data, but I'm aware that technically I'm not part of the mission control team. After all, I'm just a normal girl who's worried about Jack. But that means, Colonel, that I am not required to follow your orders outside of my immediate duties. Jack is what? not simply a field personnel for me to track. His safety comes first to me, not the mission. And because of that, I will be monitoring and keeping a record of every communication you have with him, Colonel. Given the circumstances, you're free to do what you see fit. Hey, I prefer this to being kept in the dark waiting. I'd like to make a request, if I may. Of course. His handle is Raiden. For the duration of the mission, could you call him that? Yes, sir. All right, Raiden. Let me know Raiden. when you're ready to turn in a save. <laughs> the proprietary save oh, frequency man. is 140.96. I just switched frequencies. Jack? What? Do you know what day it is tomorrow? You're supposed to call April me Raiden. 30th. Is there something special about it? Isn't there? I can't remember. I'm sorry. Oh, well. I'll keep trying till I hear the answer. I'm gonna let you go now, Jack. Take care. What the hell? I'm supposed to be doing this awesome secret mission. And here is this girl like, ooh. Oh my goodness gracious. Raiden, the enemy sentry is regaining consciousness. Be careful, Jack. Find somewhere to hide until the elevator arrives. You must stay out of sight. Hang on, sugar bear. I'm under enemy fire. Secure the perimeter. Oh no. Hang on, can I go back? There's somebody there. No, no, no. Oh yeah, now I feel like I'm really playing the game, yeah? Hmm. Hang on, I want to get, um, what's it called? My rations. Oh, nice. Alright, well there's my elevator. Trust me on this one, you guys. I'm gonna need all the rations I can get my hands on. Hmm. Oh, fudge! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, look at that. He went the other way. Nice. Perfecto. Oh, man. I'm so nervous, you guys. I'm so inexperienced with this game. Can't remember the last time I played a Metal Gear Solid game. Without having any prior experience. The terrorists call themselves Sons of Liberty. Sons of Liberty? The oh, name of their leader cool. is Solid Snake. No way! Impossible! The hero of Shadow Moses? So that's why you changed my code name. Right, but he can't be the Solid Snake. He died two years ago on that tanker no. after he blew it sky high. Quentin Flynn. Right then. Could he have survived? Not a chance. <laughs> we'll just see about that, won't we? Colonel, I'm on the roof. There are no sentries, but it would only take one to spot me in this light. You never had <laughs> daylight VR training after all. Stay extra sharp until you can find a node to log in from. Man. What about the commandos? SEAL Team 10 has landed on Struts B and C. And the president? Seems he was spotted on Strut B. Strut B? Let's see. The big ISP shell is comprised of shells is. 1 and 2. Each unit consists of a central core and six struts surrounding it. So the whole thing is shaped like two hexagons connected end on end. Exactly. And you're on the roof of strut A, shell 1 at the moment. So I got to go to B. First, get to a node. Log into the network. Got it. A nerd. <laughs> All right, you guys. Pretty soon, you guys. Pretty soon, I'll be right where I left off years ago. This might might actually be it. I don't have weapon. I remember there was a bridge, and I couldn't figure out how to get through the bridge. 
And I was just like, ah, where do I do? Maybe it's just this. Look, I don't know where to go. This might be it, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as I figure out where I'm supposed to go, all these doors are locked. Uh, I need help. Please. Right and look at that wire fence. I'm looking at it. You may be able to crawl through it. Crawl? Oh, Crouch I see. down using the crawl button. Then push the left stick in the direction you want to move. Push the crawl button again to stand up. You can use weapons even while crawling. This oh. is different from VR training, so you keep that in mind. Man, right in the so green, you guys. Uh, I don't like having to crawl on poop. Okay, whatever. Wait, so do I have a... I do have a map. Okay, perfect. Whoa, look at this. All right, this is B, right? Uh, okay. Okay, so the pause menu is just the... It's just the, um... It's just the map. Raiden, SEAL Team 10 is in. Do we really have no line of communication with the SEALs? They don't know a thing about us. You know we work in the dark, and this mission is no exception. Only a few people know about your presence here. <sighs> There's no people. need for concern. This operation is under Pentagon's direct command. The and Pentagon, the not the Pentagon came again. from the Vice President and the Secretary of Defense. Your mission may be top secret, but it's gone through the usual channels. Hmm. Okay. All right, this is it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the furthest I've ever gotten in this video game. If I take one more step, it'll be the furthest I've ever gone in this video game. Oh yeah, here we go. There you go, you guys. It's the furthest I've ever gotten in this game. Uh, starting now, I am in unfamiliar territory. Never before have I been through th this area. Oh yeah, here we go, you guys. I could be spotted at any second now. I'll go check the roof. I'll leave the first floor to you, okay? Understood. <sighs> Are there a VR training missions? What the hell, Raiden? Raiden's playing the game without me. Oh, a node. Okay, I see. Oh, so I have to touch I've these. I've located the node, but it's under heavy surveillance. I can't get in any closer. Distract them. Try making some noise to draw their attention oh, away. No. How? Flatten How? yourself against a wall and hit the punch button. Got it. You didn't learn that in the VR training, mister? What a douche. Hang on, I gotta check what's in here first. Why am I missing a little bit of light? Get so calm first. God damn it, that sucks. Hang on. Oh god. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hmm? Ah, I did it, you guys. Am I good? Oh my god, if I, I might accidentally hit this right here and go to the uh, title screen again. Let us not do that, yeah? Yeah, look at this. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, no, no. Jesus Christ, that guy's fast. Okay. What do I go to do? I don't know which way to go, you guys. Wait a minute, maybe this? <gasps> oh, this is the bridge! Okay. Maybe this is as far as I've ever gotten. I remember there was a bridge and I was like, oh, I don't know what to do with this Ryden, bridge. Watch your back. That's a cipher, a type of UAV. If it spots you, it will alert enemy personnel. Exercise extreme caution. But you can use chaff to set up an interference field. That'll knock its sensors offline for a while. I need chaff Try to grenades. locate some chaff. You can also destroy the engine or the camera. Some of the UAVs may be armed. Be careful. Copy that. Man, now I gotta worry about these little Wait drone a second. helicopters. I just intercepted new intelligence on the operation uh -oh. being executed by SEAL Team 10. Intercepted? As I said before, they need to be kept in the dark about our presence. So we just listen in. I'm patching it through. Whoa. This is Alpha Zero. We have the president. Is he Whoa. safe? He is safe. What about the package? Tell the guys upstairs that we've secured the package. Huh, the Easy package. money. Easy Good money? Work. Your what the hell? Is on the way. Come on home. Roger that. Holy! Alpha Zero, report. Damn it, cover the president! 
Come in, Alpha Zero. This is Alpha Zero. We're under attack. This is crazy. Is that... Alpha Zero, respond. Whoa. All Alpha, respond. Raiden, the President's life is in danger. Head to Strut B now. Strut B. Alright, so I need some... This is F. Hang on. Oops. That's F. Let's see. That's where I'm at. Hang on. B. I'm in the wrong area, you guys. Hang on. Go back. Back to the abyss. I need to go the other way. Oopsie. I went the wrong way, you guys. Hang on. Don't worry. I get the hang of it. He can't see me, like, over the thing, right? No, I don't think he can. Oh, God. 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 Somebody there. No, there isn't. Okay. A, B connection? Okay, I got a couple of suckers right here. Huh. So I guess I don't know exactly where I left last left off. Right, that bridge might have been it there right there. There are sentries there. posted on the connecting bridge. They will spot you if you continue on course. Any recommendations? Use the hanging mode. You're asking the hanging? colonel? Face Man. any waist-high railing and push the action Whoa, the button to clear the railing and hang over the side. Once there, That's a crazy you can jump. move sideways while keeping out of enemy sight. All right, I'm giving it a try. Don't oh, forget man. the grip gauge. It will keep decreasing during a hanging maneuver. Wait, what's the button to jump back out, up? You will fall. Tell me the... No! Tell me the button to get back up! God damn it, you guys. This always happens to me. Okay, hang on. Oh boy. Oh, hang on. Aha! It better be triangle again. Because if it isn't, then I'm going to be pissed. Is this guy ever going to turn around? Oh, please, Mr. Turn around. Can't believe you can't see the little hands. All right, here we go. Hang on, that's a uh, noisy floor, I believe. Up! Oh, thank goodness. All right, here we go. Yeah, look at that. Not so bad after all, ladies and gentlemen, huh? Yeah, buddy. B. All right, we're in B now. Now we're getting somewhere. Uh oh. Oh, here we go, you guys. The plot thickens. <laughs> it's like um, Frank Yeager has been through here. Huh? What's going on? Get some water. 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 I'm having a good time, you guys. Yeah. God, I'm so dehydrated right now. Why? I'll never know. <sighs> Whoa! Bam! I haven't really seen him in his uh, PlayStation 2 glory. <laughs> Throwing his little knives. Man, what a bullet spammer. <laughs> oh, man. Whoa. Way, way, way. Van Helsing. Jesus. Sliced them up. Is Raiden watching this? Oh, 
who's just listening in. Oh man, look at this green bastard. He's like, oh man, I don't know what to do. <sighs> Appropriate, I guess, because I'm uh, so unfamiliar with this game. All right, so I never got this far, for sure now. I never got to uh, platform <gasps> B. Whoa! He's drinking blood. Gross. Oh crap! Ah! He actually sees you? What are you? Neither living or dead. <laughs> Fight today. Ooh. Or rather, six. That's the voice. <gasps> oh, man. Damn. Watch out, my boy. He's going to dice you up. Oh, man. Get down. Oh, man. I recognize that voice anyway. Whoa. Oh, that was so cool. Look who it is. My boy. My actual boy. I'm not talking about Ray. Where is he? Oh my god, I'm so excited. It's him. Watch out, my boy. What the hell? Oh! Oh no! Don't let him dice you up! Shoot him! Shoot him! Whoa! Oh man! He's tearing up my boy! Don't let him ride it! Strange smell. Oh, he recognizes. He smells him. Stealth camo. It has to be. It has Kill to be. Him. What are you waiting for? Don't think. Just shoot. Oh, man. Yeah, queen. Are you all done cleaning up? Yes, but wait. Oh, ho, ho. Throw him a clip. Something interesting. Oh, my God. Where are you? Slow motion. In the central unit with the president. Be right there. What the fuck? Damn, he's a quick bastard. Reminds me of the fear. Fear. Very similar to the fear. Huh? Hold on, I'm not an enemy. Calm down. Calm down. Oh, <laughs> now we're getting. So I gotta stop saying that. My name is. My name is Pliskin, Iroquois Pliskin, Lieutenant Junior Grade. Sure, sure, sure. <gasps> there he is. <laughs> David Hill. Are you a Navy SEAL? How did you get in? Fast rope descent from a Navy chopper. <laughs> Have I seen you before? Hmm. That suit. Are you Foxhound? That's right. That's Foxhound right. <laughs> Where were you before Foxhound? Delta Force? No, just we always I was part of the Army's Force 21 trials. Force 21? That's about tactical IT deployment, right? Any field experience? No, not really. So this is your first. I've had extensive training, the kind that's indistinguishable from the real thing. Like what? Sneaking mission 60, weapons 80, Whoa. advanced VR, huh? But realistic in every way. Mm -hmm. A virtual grunt of the digital age, that's just great. That's far more effective than live exercises. You don't get injured in VR, do you? Every year a few soldiers die in field exercises. 
There's pain sensation in VR and even a sense of reality and urgency. The only difference is it isn't actually happening. That's the way they want you to think, to remove you from the fear that goes with battle situations. War is a video game. What better way to raise the ultimate soldier? You better hand over some guns. So you're saying guns. that VR training is some kind of mind control? It's a video game, bitch. Right. What's going on? The Alpha team from Navy SEAL 10 is dead. No, a single survivor. The kid's wired with nano machines. Hmm. 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 What's up, my the boy? President? Looks like they took him somewhere else. I see. You said there was a survivor from SEAL Team 10. Yeah. Lieutenant J.G. Pliskin. Has he seen your face? What? This is a top secret oh, mission. Man. No one can like, know that we're involved. You weren't supposed to take off your mask. Oh, man. What's this? Is so exciting. Ew. Wait, what? What the hell? A Navy captain. It's the... <gasps> oh no! Fuck, Sai. Oh, you all never right? mind. Never mind, never mind. Woo! Give me a few minutes. <sighs> Must have lost a few more pints than I thought. What was that man just now? That blood sucking freak? That was Vamp. Oh, he knows? Oh, he does. He's Romanian, a wizard with knives, as you saw. The way he moved didn't seem human. You won't see that in VR, I guarantee. <laughs> what is he? <laughs> One of the members of Dead Cell. Dead Cell? Him? A special forces unit created by ex-president George Sears. The name was originally intended to reflect its anti-terrorist functions. The unit would launch unannounced assaults on government complexes for the ultimate terrorism simulation. They were needed to show VR troopers like you how to deal with the real thing. But around the time their original leader died in prison, the unit began to unravel. They were always close to the edge, but they became more and more extreme, began to go after US allies, even civilians. We estimate that no fewer than 100 people died as a result of accidents George the Dead Sears. Cell arranged on their own. They were out of control, and it all came to a head six months ago. What happened? The unit was devastated. There are only three left now, and you just saw one of them. Why would they go after the big shell? How should I know? I told you they were on the lunatic fringe. What about their leader? He says he's Solid Snake. Snake died two years ago. Whoa. You mean the incident that made this big shell necessary in the first place? Right, and he was the one that sank that tanker. But he's a legend. Legends are usually bad news. There's not a lot of difference between heroes and madmen. You're saying Snake is still alive and pulled another one? No, he's not involved in this one. His body was positively ID'd two years ago. What? Snake is dead. And buried. Snake! Wait a what minute. What about the other soldiers? You're talking about liquid, aren't you? I saw Russian equipment too. Liquid. Former Soviet military. They're probably mercenaries. The big shell is too much ground for just dead cell members to hold down. You weren't briefed on any of this? And you came in alone to boot? Why? As usual. What are you really doing here? Can't tell me, huh? Fine with me. I don't smoke. I don't smoke. <laughs> of course anyway. you that. May come in handy. Oh, lucky smokes. Take this too. Oh, thank you, my boy. Come in, Alpha Zero. This is Bravo Zero. Currently at the bridge between Struts B and C. The president is. Damn, I can't hit this thing. It's like some bad dream. Alpha, anyone, come in, all Alpha. This is Bravo Zero. Aren't you going to answer him? Whoa. BC connecting bridge. We need to get there. Can you handle it? I need a few more minutes. 
Remember my frequency. It's 141.80. 141.80. Got it. Got it. I've been briefed on this plant's layout. Oh my god, I'm gonna call right away. Place or about dead cell. Contact zero. me. No, wait. You're using nano communication, right? Yeah, but I can patch into your frequency. Can I? Hey, what's your name? Point eight zero. It's Raiden. 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 Strange code name. Ho -ho! Makes up for the boring one my parents gave me. Maybe I'll find out someday. Hmm. 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 Oh, call me down. Call me down. Call me Ah. Oh. Oh. Hang on. I gotta remember. Hang on. Up, up. How do I go up? We're getting point eight zero. Yes. Car. Hey, my boy. She's asleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my boy is taking a nap. How much longer is this guy gonna sleep? <laughs> Wish I were that relaxed. Wish I were that relaxed. <laughs> Why is he <laughs> still sleeping? Merle. Liquid. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that was so cool. He was like, Liquid. Uh, uh. Wait, what? He's right here. My boy. Do I have a picture? Oh no, I can't take a picture of my boy. I just remember you guys. <laughs> oh, my boy. Look at this. The best. Alright. I got some SOCOM bullets. Lucky weapon. Got some more bullets over here. That's pretty cool. I don't really have a quest marker. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, um, it was the BC uh, Bridge. I remember correctly, right? BC Bridge. Jack, it's me. Everything what do you want? Okay, Rose. Don't you need to save the mission data? No. Oh, yeah. Thanks for the reminder. I'll save whenever I want. Luckily for you, I want to save right now. <laughs> yes, save. Oh man, I'm so happy that I have a uh, snake right here. Jack, do you remember what day tomorrow? Stop is? calling me Jack, that woman. Again. Leave me alone. I don't want to talk to this woman. Look at this. All this. I'm, I got a mission and she's. Uh, I got to save the president of the United States. And this lady is like. Hey. Do you remember what they. Man. Rose is the worst. <laughs> I see why people hate her now. Even Mei Ling. Kept her. Her quotes to like. Only like a couple seconds. God damn it. A couple seconds each. I don't have a radar. Who's doing the shooting? He's doing the shooting. Ah, I remember this guy. Damn, the president's right there. How are you shooting? Way, way, way. Whoa. What the hell? They're is shooting that? at the president. Look at that. Come, put me out of my misery. This is impossible. Nothing will hit her. Is she the one they call Fortune? Obviously. Who's this all of a sudden? Vamp. Oh God, Mr. President! Look at this bastard! Damn, that's a huge rail gun. Queen, that, look at the size of that thing. 
Don't let them take the president. Is that crying wolves? Um, Reagan? Railgun? Crap. Ready grenades. <gasps> Whoa. A dud. Today is another bad day. Is there anyone here that can give me happiness? Oh no! Bridge. Damn. Oh. Sorry, my beauties. I'll see you again someday. You can make that jump. <laughs> Maybe? No? Probably not. Hey, Pliskin. What's up with this girl? Colonel. SEAL Team 10's Bravo team was wiped out. I see. What happened to the cargo choppers? Both of them are at the bottom of the harbor. Looks like your new hosts have a Harrier too. A Harrier? What is this? Calm down. It just means they anticipated the attack. What? Besides, since the SEALs drew their fire, your infiltration went off without a hitch. On top of that, we know their defensive capabilities. Are you saying this was all a feint? Raiden, get a hold of yourself. The entire mission is in your hands now. Do you understand? But... There's no time for questions. They could decide to retaliate for that failed assault. You mean the hostages? They could be in danger, yes. But we need to consider the possibility that they'll blow the whole shell. If that toxic spell does take place, it'll devastate not only the harbor, but poison the coastline for generations. <sighs> Raiden, we've had to adjust the mission objectives. The priority is now on removing those C4s that the terrorists wired over the big shell. The President can wait, but this can't. Colonel, you know I'm no bomb disposal expert. That's not a problem. The Bravo team brought an explosives pro in with them. He was supposed to stand by on Strut C according to their mission plan. You should find him there. Is this according to simulation Strut too? C. What are you talking about? Get to Strut C and find him. Understood. But I need to ask you something before I go. Make it quick. Who are they? Dead Cell, I mean. They couldn't hit her no matter how hard they tried. And that vampire, too. It's... it's like... It's like being in a nightmare you can't wake up from. Jack, snap out of it. And you, Rose. I can't believe you're on this mission. I keep <laughs> thinking I'll wake up. Right, this is oh, real. Man. And that's why you won't wake up. But nothing seems real. I've made up my mind to stay with you. Whether this is real or a bad dream, I'll keep watching you till it's over. Thank you, Rose. And I won't let you be just a dream. Are you two done? Right. <laughs> You're needed on Strut C. All right, all right. <laughs> Colonel, one more thing. Are you are you hiding anything from me? Strut C. Oh, it's right here. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, ammo. Ammo, ammo, ammo. Oops, almost fell off the thing. Oh, yeah. But you bow. Whoa! Okay. Stretzy! Here we are. Dining hall! Uh oh. I gotta find the node! I gotta find the nerd! Oh god. I can't see anything, dude. Look at this! Look at this view that I have right here. Oh, nice! Oh! 
Ooh, what have we got here? <laughs> oh, man. Nothing on this one. Damn it, I wish I had my camera with me. Oh, what? Nice. Uh, God, I hate these camera angles. Level one. Oh, no. Oop, God damn it, right in. Oh, whatever. Man, there's a lot of cutscenes. Too many cutscenes. Freeze! Don't shoot. Who are you, my boy? You a cop? I'm not in squad. I came in with the Bravo team. Who are you with? And what happened to SEAL Team 10? They're all dead. All of them? Oh, Except dead. for one main. Did I tell you you could move? It's all right. He's not one of the bad guys. Whoa, my boy. How'd you get here? Don't go pointing that thing everywhere, kid. What's your name? My name is Peter. Peter Stillman. I'm lecturer at Navscolio at Indian Head. Also a consultant for the NYPD bomb squad. A poor old man who got dragged along for this picnic. I thought you'd retired. I did. Can't keep up with everybody, as you can see. A famous church got wiped off the map thanks to me with too many lives inside. All I lost was this leg. So you're the bomb disposal guy. <sighs> Kid, this is the bomb disposal guy. Open any explosives disposal textbook and you'll see his name. <laughs> Just ancient history now. Why did they bring you out of retirement then? Because the terrorist group here includes one of my students. The Emperor of Explosives, Fat Man. <sighs> he built an atomic bomb when he was only 10. Jesus, what the I fudge? created him in a sense. And that's why you're here. I'm pretty rusty. I was supposed to supervise the bomb disposal. Looks like it was taken care of before I had my turn. I wouldn't say that. There are at least two people here who can claim to be experts at bomb disposal. Are you two with SEAL Team 10? I didn't see you at the mission briefing. Oh! Oh, we're with another squad. My name is Pliskin, Lieutenant Junior Grade. Honored to meet you, sir. Mr. Pliskin, do you have any experience with explosives disposal? Don't worry about me. And he looks young, but he can do it. But we need more manpower. I'm, uh... What's your name? Raiden. That's an odd name. Any other survivors? It's a cold There was also name. an engineer with me. An engineer? A skinny guy. He went in <gasps> with us. I know who that is. is. I haven't seen Otacon. him since that skirmish. Was he killed? I don't think so. I didn't right? find his body. I see. They told me he was a security systems architect for the big shell. Why would they take a civilian along? Everything in this structure is computer controlled. That's controlled. definitely Otacon. supposed Otacon. to get us past all the security Look at those places. I never heard anything about that. That's busy here. He had official orders with him. Hmm. We'll leave that for later. Right now, we need to figure out how to deal with all the bombs. But there's no one left from the SEAL's EOD squad. Yep, so we have to do it ourselves. But I've never defused a bomb before. Hold on a sec. Off oh, to confirm with the CO again. Better not be Rose. Glad to hear Why Stillman is safe. Assist him in any way possible to clear the C4 beep, from the beep, structure. Beep, 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 Colonel, you know I've never been trained in bomb disposal. It's all right. The man you're working with is the best in the field. All you have to do is follow his directions. You will, of course, keep your identity and mission objectives to yourself. Is it true that an engineer came in with Stillman? I wasn't informed of that. It's probably something the SEALs decided on their own. Hmm. There are more important issues at hand, Raiden. The enemy may retaliate for the failed assault. Get those C4s neutralized now. Colonel... I'm not qualified for bomb disposal. Jesus. Jack, it's me. Rose? <laughs> you can do this. Trust me. You haven't had bomb disposal training per se in VR, but you're more than capable of handling C4. This is a little different from using C4. You're up for this. You know that. How about it, kid? Are the results in yet? Whoa. 
Colonel's gonna be like, hey, to think about hey, so I reckon I that force. You actually be dismantling the bomb. Oh. That's not for amateurs. What we'll try here instead is a temporary freezing measure. Here. Hey, here. Snake. What's up, good looking? Yeah, I see that beard. Huh? What? Whoa, hey, don't slide this that over. C4 bomb. <gasps> don't turn it on. It's live. You can see it pulsing. Now you spray this on the sucker and there we go. Simple, huh? The spray freezes the detonator instantly. How long does the effect last? There's no way the thing can detonate in this condition. Even if you leave it alone, it'll stay out of commission for at least 24 hours. That's mm. enough time. If we had the manpower, I'd recommend complete disposal. But this will have to do. The spray can be used from several yards away. Now check oh. the floor, ceiling, walls, under a table, everywhere. Try to imagine the locations the bomber would choose. That won't be easy. We don't know a thing about Fat Man. Is there anything that'll help us locate the bombs? Here, take this with you. It's what they call an ion mobility spectrometer. It can recognize ionized gas emitted by C4s. The what? In other words, the that little what? gadget sniffs out C4's scent. That's right. I've established a link up with your radar network, so any scent detected will be represented visually. Have the sensor activated and keep your eye on the radar. What if he's using some other odorless substance? Oh, oh man. Right in. I know Fat Man well. I know how into his own aesthetics he is. Signatures? Yes. On every bomb he builds, he always leaves a trace of the cologne he uses. Ew. The sensor also picks up that particular scent spectrum. Is that something he learned from you? No, it was his own quirk. He wouldn't work by any rules except his own. And he followed them like a religion. And common sense wasn't one of his strong points. I thought I taught him everything I knew. I have no children of my own, and I thought I found a son in him. He had the right stuff, you know. There's something very unusual about an ability like that. Even at Indian Head, he got special treatment. I remember some people called him one of the fat cats. <laughs> Maybe that's what started all this. I didn't teach him the most important thing I had to tell him. There are some things you have to pass on. The trick is to know which one. Right. All I taught him was skills. And now I have to stop him from using it to destroy us all. Damn. Let's see how well that sensor works. All right. I'm activating him. Watch. You see the green stuff on the radar? That's yeah. a visual representation of the C4 scent detected by the sensor. It's a pretty big area, isn't it? Don't complain. It's better than nothing. Just activate the sensors and search the area, okay? All right. Don't forget that you need the radar to use this system. Log into the node at every strut and turn the radar on. We have to keep out of the enemy's sight, too. Because the radar gets knocked offline when we're spotted? Exactly. Fat Man would have allotted some C4s here in Strut C as well. Here? I know the structure of this facility, and if he wants to take out the plant, where he would target. You know this for sure? Of course. I taught him the techniques he uses. His ideas are based on my theories. Demolition is a kind of ideology. It makes no exceptions for time or place. Big shell consists of two hexagons joined in on in, north to south. There should be packets of C4s on each of the vertices, or the struts in this case. You need at least that to take a building of this integrity out. Hmm. Six on shell one, another six on shell two, a total of twelve bombs at least. Considering the shell's architecture and composition from an engineering standpoint, that's my conclusion, and it's exactly what he would have decided as well. Kid, this place is all yours. I'll take care of Shell 2. Take this. Huh. What's that? <gasps> oh, key cards! What's this? Security card issued to Shell personnel. How'd you get that? The big shell security layout includes varying levels of clearance. The clearance level is identified by the number printed on these doors. Writing, 
Your card key can open doors with security clearance level one. Pliskin, your card can get you into level three areas. You'll need it to get next door to shell two. How did you okay. get this? That engineer I told you about gave it to me. He was supposed to program a set of all access cards once we were on site. Unfortunately, this card won't get you into every area of this structure. We'll have to deal with the remaining security lockouts as they come up. Let's get going. You stay here. No, I'm going. The two of us can handle it, don't worry. But... You'll just slow us down with that leg of yours. There's a war going it's on true. here. I don't have time to babysit anymore. <laughs> Why don't you just let us handle the grunt work? You can tell us what to do over the radio, like in the original mission plan. All right. I'll give you instructions from here. I may also need to prepare a backup plan just in case. In case of what? Good luck to both of you. This is a dangerous one. Who dares wins. If anything comes up, let me know. My frequency is 140.25. Good luck, kid. Hang I'll on. see you Hang later. On. Hang on. One Semper four five. zero point two five. Was it five or one? That man's no seal. I don't even think he's a navy man. What? Whoa! How do you know Simplify. this? Simplify. Marine Corps talk. Uh -huh. Normally, team leaders stay in the CP and give orders with those headphones. And as far as I know, seals keep their officers away from the field. And who dares wins is a model of the British Special Air Service. Hmm. British? Is he one of the terrorists then? No, somehow I don't think so. If there's someone to suspect, I'd put my money on you. I'm... You're the most suspect one. Those bombs for now. What about you? They could be back in this area soon. I'll hide out in this pantry for a while. If I lock the door, it should be all right. Plenty of food in there, too, so you don't need to worry about me. Mm -hmm. I'll give you instructions by codec from here. One, four, zero, point Good luck, kid. Two, five. Bye, mister. Bomb disposal is a face-off with your own mortality. Don't let the fear get to you. When you give in to the fear, the darkness comes. <laughs> he kind of looks like Steve Harvey with that uh, mustache. Yeah. Hey, here we go. Hang on, let me see if I Pliskin Rose. Okay, let's see if I got the codec right. Uh, it was one four zero point twenty five. Twenty five or twenty one. Never mind about me. <laughs> Get on with disposing of those bombs. All right, all right, all right. And we got him. Still, man. All righty, guys. I got the codex. Hang on. Let's call my boy. Where's my boy? Peskin! Ryden, don't get yourself worked up. Oh it's safer to take out the enemy up. first, then look for the bomb. Don't even think about searching for the bomb while looking over your shoulder for the enemy. Knock them unconscious or take them out altogether first. What's the button to knock them out? That's punch. So calm, coolant. Okay. What happens if I freeze these um these uh things right here? Huh. That's weird. You use an analog stick to to shoot it. That's so weird. Um. Hey, here we go. Let's. I got a nerd over there. Let's go. How do I go over there? This way. Computer. Pew! All right, we got a guy right here. What does it look like again? I'm over the specs and explosive detector activates when equipped. Activates when equipped. Displays Fat Man's scented C4 on radar. Aha! I see it over here. Hang on, hang on. In the bathroom. 
What kind of a bastard puts these things in the bathroom? Let's see if I can get at least one of these things. Is that it? There it is! Hey! Alright. Where's the thing? No. Oh, look at me! <laughs> look at me! Okay. Fire! Perfecto! Right in here. I took care of the C4 in Strut C. The ceiling of the women's bathroom was set to blow. <sighs> That's not like him. Anything wrong? Maybe. Pliskins reported other locations too, and none of them are effective demolition points. What uh -oh. do you mean? It means that they wouldn't be the best places to choose if you wanted to destroy this place. Are you saying they don't plan on blowing the shell up? It certainly seems that way. So far we haven't seen anything but a waste of good explosives. Unless, of course, we're missing something. A trap? He couldn't have overlooked the fact that I would be called into this. There's something going on. Damn you guys, I don't like the looks of this one. 